Jake the Film Guy, and the reason you are here today is because you're a video producer who's struggling to find more places to prospect without enough people in the old sales pipeline, without enough people to go and serve with your video production skills, your business will dry up like a dying mine. Let's not let that happen. This is where you can start beyond the usual, like your family and your friends. Once you've gone through all those people and told them, hey, I'm in business, if you know anybody that needs a video, have them give me a call. First up on the list, Manta. I'm not a big fan of Manta. And the reason for that is some of the information is a little outdated. However, one of its strengths is that it groups people, or really businesses, by industry. So if you wanna prospect the healthcare industry, you can just go and look for the healthcare professionals right there in your backyard. A lot of times they will list a decision maker and a phone number, but not as often will they list an email. And sometimes they don't even have the correct URL for that person's business. So that's something to keep in mind. Everything's okay, I thought the recording stopped. You need to keep this in mind. When you use Manta, you're gonna have to go and find other information for that person. But if you're looking just for a phone number to start that cold call or that cold selling process, go there. If Manta is drumming up only a few leads, consider going over to Yelp. Now Yelp is basically this generation's yellow pages. You can do the same thing with Yelp. If you wanna go and prospect dentists, you can type in dentist near Las Vegas and you'll see Uncle Bob's dental clinic just down the road from you. They'll give you the address, the phone number, hours of operation, and all of that's pretty much up to date. Also, they'll give you the URL, so you can go to the website and find the email if you need to. At the very least, though, it's a great place to start finding places <laughs> to prospect. Again, if you were going to be doing business-to-business -business video production, if you had picked a different niche, then this probably isn't the best video for you. And in that case, well, au revoir. Otherwise, if you're gonna be using Yelp to find businesses in your backyard, know this, you're still gonna have to find the email from the website using tools that have been discussed previously. Or you're going to have to go to your state's website. Particularly, you wanna to go to your Secretary of State's website and find the list of businesses to find the owner if you can't drum that up just from the business's website. Which leads me to your Secretary of State. In Nevada, it's really simple. A lot of businesses will incorporate here because there's no corporate income tax, there's no personal income tax. There's a lot of reasons for businesses to come and start here in Nevada. Look at Zappos. If you are in another state, you need to simply just type into Google something along the lines of Secretary of State, whatever your state is, business, entity, use keywords like that until you can find that .gov website that's gonna give you that gold mine of information you're looking for. Let's say you did find Uncle Bob's Dental Clinic. Uncle Bob's? Uncle Bob's Dental Clinic. You go to his website, but you still can't discern who's the top dog there. After all, a lot of dental clinics will have four or five dentists. Who's the real decision maker here? Ah, well that's when you go to your Secretary of State's website, you plug in the business name, and they'll usually list who the president, the secretary, the treasurer is, if it's a corporation, corporation. If it's a domestic LLC, that sort of thing, then they'll probably just say who the principal managing member is. Either way, you're looking at the top dog, him or her. Go ahead, then take that information you already found through their website or through y'all, pick up the phone and say, hey, this is Tim, is Uncle Bob there? Um, Uncle Bob's with the patient right now. Who's this? This is Tim. I was looking to get in touch with Uncle Bob about his video. Hmm. That can get a conversation going because I guarantee you that Uncle Bob's going to have a gatekeeper. You need to learn how to overcome that. You can also consider using a combination of Google and LinkedIn. Type in site colon LinkedIn.com and then use quotes around titles like director of marketing or owner. And then you might want to also type in some kind of industry or just narrow it down. Start with a niche within the business world. After all, there's thousands of industries in your backyard. You can't just hit them all. Figure out, hey, I want to be the best video producer for the dentist in my backyard. Okay, so then you'll type in dentist and use quotes around that or dentistry or dental clinic or terms like that. So you can start seeing who are those owners that are on LinkedIn. Now, if the person has a LinkedIn profile with a profile picture, even if they have followers and articles, there's a pretty good chance they care about business. If they have, like a lot of LinkedIn users, just an empty shell of a profile with no picture, no content, hardly any followers, and probably zero recommendations or skills, it's a very bare bones, very minimalistic profile, then there's a good chance they probably just don't care about digital ads. Move on. I also recommend in this day and age, meetups. 
You don't have to go to meetup.com, but it's one place that you can go to find other like-minded individuals, specifically the marketing crowd. Talk to them, figure out where they're meeting up, and go meet up, meet them in person. After all, we do business with people we know and trust. And what better way to get your face out there than to go to these meetups? I've been to a few myself. I'm gonna get back on that bandwagon soon. Sometimes they're awkward and they can be like this. Hi, I'm Jake the Film Guy. So what do you do? And sometimes it's more fruitful. And in my experience, it's been fruitful. It's really been my fault for not following up more with the people that I meet there. Shame on me. Don't repeat my mistake, that's why I'm counseling you. If you're gonna go and make the time to go to a meetup, well, follow up with the people that you meet there and make a connection with. Don't just hand out business cards like fruit flies. You need to actually collect business cards too and look to refer business to them. Savvy? Don't forget staffmeup.com. Now I realize it's mostly film industry jobs and TV industry jobs, but we're all trying to get there, so go ahead, start getting yourself familiar with them. And honestly, some businesses will put some ads on there, so it doesn't hurt to check them out. Put your best foot forward, bring the best attitude, and again, be a servant leader. Last but not least, if you've exhausted all these other places, just take a pen and paper with you next time you go out in the car. Have your honey drive and say, Hey, I gotta take notes as I drive by. Oh, there's Uncle Bob's Dairy Queen. Stay away from franchises. I've talked about this before. There are various places that you want to avoid when you're cold pitching. Franchises have established marketing channels. And for us micro-budget filmmakers, let's face it, unless we're Solomon Leak Town, we're just not gonna make it there. Not yet. I'm not trying to discourage you, I'm just trying to hit you with some reality. If you need help with pricing your services, I know what a headache it can be, especially when you're starting out, and what you don't know is how much money you're leaving on the table because you don't believe in yourself enough. First of all, you gotta correct that attitude problem. You need to believe in your services, you need to believe in your ability to connect and solve problems for your customers. And lastly, you need to charge what you're worth. So if that's you, head on over to the site, link below as well. There's a tool for you. Try it out for two weeks. If you hate it, send it back. It's no problem. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and keep creating with the king. Hey, if you use one of these places and it works for you, hey, leave a comment below. And let's grow this community of micro-budget filmmakers together. Sticks. Thanks for your patience, guys. Ready and action.